Hello and welcome uh, again to Mosite TV. Um, today, uh, yeah, it's the next episode of uh, making the Rockwell 67 buck. And uh, I hope today it's it's a part you're waiting for uh, because I like to explain uh, how I make this uh, inflating, exflating, <laughs> I don't know, uh, antenna thing. You know, uh, when we watching the movie, it's, uh, it's the last part, um, when the bug comes out and suck. So, just a few seconds um, here in slow-mo. So and today uh, I like to show you how it's made and it's of course very easy technique. Uh, I, I uh, used uh, the MoGraph tool for uh, animating this and uh, of course uh, it's nearly fully uh, automatic. So uh, I still made a tutorial about the same technique because I used it years ago uh, for, for, for some jobs. And uh, on my YouTube channel is, is a tutorial where I show the technique too, but uh, because it's an old tutorial, it's in German. I show you, it's, it's called uh, Motorial 3 using MoGraph tools. Yeah, and I, I show some different uh, things you can do with MoGraph module and Cinema 40, but uh, one of the things is the automatic. Um, Animation thing. See you. Yeah. Okay. And interesting. <laughs> Here is. Um, yeah, I explained uh, the technique how I made. Uh, moment. This car. Commercial. Moment. Okay, um, many words, but for you it's maybe interesting. Uh, uh, additional to this video, there are some uh, example scenes, uh, Cinema 40 example scenes. Yeah, for example, this grooving house. It, it's called grooving house by me, and this this is. Um, the thing it's interesting oh yeah <laughs> uh, uh, yeah funny uh, I said something on eBay and it's done right now and the the, the guy who uh, uh, buy it uh, just give me the money so this is a simple example. Uh, it's the same technique. I show you, uh, no panic, like this. So and this is very easy MoGraph stuff. Yeah. For example, you made uh, when you made any uh, simple animation. I, I do this uh, for example with this cube. So um, what can I do with this cube? Okay, I, I crunch the cube. And a keyframe the the size, then go to ten. Keyframe the size again, like this. No big thing. Uh, but now I get another cube like this. This side and give them a special tag, the display tag. Yeah, with this display tag, you can uh, set anything on uh, visible or, if you like, invisible. Yeah, like this. Okay, now the first cube stretched, and in this moment, I am it from visible to Unvisible, click, 
Okay, now this, this cube is visible too. And um, for the second cube, keyframes for the size, frame 20, keyframe, what we get is this. Okay, now you're asking yourself, uh, <laughs> for what is this? It's, uh, just to show you uh, how I made the whole animation. Now I give the two uh, animated cubes and uh, you can put anything, your keyframe animated or something, in a zero object and then give this zero object in a cloner, in a MoGraph cloner and here you can um, duplicate it. Uh, in this example I like to duplicate it in a uh, moment. In this direction, so a few more. You see, now I have uh, eight clones of the same thing, and when I play the animation, I have eight cubes, and every cube uh, did the same. Uh, maybe uh, to to make it more interesting, we can hide the first cube two with the same tag. Let's see, display. Visible zero on frame zero, frame one. Now it's visible. So on the whole animation looks like this. So okay, and now I use a, a effector, for example, a step effector, but I didn't need any any uh, parameter like scale. Yeah, but what I need is this time offset. I give uh, the step effector a time offset. Step step effector is of course connected uh, with the cloner object. Give the step effector a time offset of maybe uh, fifteen frames or something, and watch what happens. Yes, the whole animation is now uh, with, with the offset, and any clone. Uh, just doing the animation after the first clone, of the his uh, first clone, like this, ding, 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 ding. So, and this is a basic technique I use for the antenna thing too, but in combination, because what I did is not just uh, have this uh, the deflating uh, effect, I uh, give another cloner, and in, in our antenna case, <coughs> I go to radio. So, moment, maybe we can rotate this thing. No. No, it's not good. Moment. Yeah, this is the right thing. You see, <laughs> it's making it a, a bit like our antenna. So when I play the animation now, yes, just uh, appears uh, step by step, and maybe we can do the time offset with the step effect or a bit less to uh, have a faster animation. So. Maybe you get the idea. Um, can of course construct anything out of this uh, basic technique. Moment. Like. Oh, I. Hmm, like, and this, nope. Maybe like this, so, or a bit more. And now we have this on the whole construct. And when I give the, the second cloner the same effector, we have this. And the funny thing is, um, the last thing, it's maybe not so interesting because I didn't use it for the antenna thing, but it's interesting. Here, 
is a curve that shows uh, the timing of this effect. All right. And when you give the, the curve a few different uh, parameters, like this, um, you give the whole timing thing a bit random effector and yeah, effect. And this means that your animation is not so clean. Because every little thing uh, has a slightly different timing. So, okay, but this is uh, just um, too much for our animation. And now let's have a look at our original bug. Yeah, this is the bug. You're remembering the scene. Okay, what's happened there? So, I killed everything we didn't need right now. Stones in the background, um, the ground. Um, and finally, yes, the, the bug <laughs> himself. Uh, maybe it's interesting uh, because uh, you, you know this is a very, very uh, short uh, spot. It's just 10 seconds or so. And uh, I have this, this inflating thing just for, for two seconds or something. So um, I didn't make made any uh, proper rig or something. Yeah, Everything here is, is very uh, quick and dirty because um, it's very short time shown on screen and so you can see this the whole uh, fly like metal things are just inside the bag <laughs> yeah <laughs> and when we go like this you see this is just downscaled in the bag and when he did the movement everything just uh, scales out and rotates a bit and it works because uh, our perspective yeah uh, the bug himself hides the most of the things uh, with his own body and uh, the thinking thing is everything happens at the same time and very fast so uh, there is no need to to make it very clean and so on uh, it's, it's just that uh, the viewer of the movie uh, uh, get the effect. So, wow, what's happened there? Everything uh, deflates and uh, so so on. And this is, yeah, basically, uh, basically what I did with, with the the flies and something. And when I kill the guys, oh man, oh yeah, and, and uh, it's it's of course you remembering maybe when you saw the the rigging uh, tutorial. I uh, connect one zero object with the with a bone of the bug, and everything I connected uh, now with the bug is under this zero object, and the zero object uh, is in the center of the bug. So I, I don't have to to uh, connect it with the original bug. Yeah, it's it's complete independent. I have just this zero object uh, when I kill the constraint, for example. Oops, not all. Just this tag. Yeah, I can show you the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> and this is inside the bag. And now everything deflates. So, but we didn't need um, this. <laughs> We just uh, oh yeah and then the the yeah it's how it's called uh, I I don't know this this type of antennas is just basic uh, cylinder objects and they are just moving you see like this okay we don't need them anymore just a parabolic thing so and now I killed the back too so. And what's left is a original antenna. And if you ask yourself, by the way, um, it's just a little trick. Um, I disabled in the viewport uh, the textures, yeah, like this, because it's, it's a question of speed. Yeah, when you have uh, any textures in the scene, 
you maybe you can watch uh, the the frames per second uh, here on my screen. Okay, uh, now it's not so much stuff on the scene, but yeah, we have uh, 12 FPS or something. And when I switch the textures off, everything it's a bit faster. Yeah, like this. Now we have 20. Uh, frames per second. Uh, okay, it's not so important uh, when you just have this little bug on the scene, but when you have a complex scene with much textures, it's always a good idea when you come to the animating part, switching off the textures and uh, anything in the, your viewport is a bit faster. Okay, so, but for now, it's just the Powerball antenna is interesting for us. And they did uh, the same like the other things, yeah, they uh, is inside the bag and when it comes out it deflates like this. So, and now we looking what's inside. So, I left the original cam. This is our antenna and I still cleaning up this thing. This is uh, the parabolic antenna. I hide it for a moment, so you can see uh, this this other stuff. It's, it's very basic, by the way. You see, yeah, it's just this. So not much stuff. Everything is modeled uh, very easy and and uh, dirty with uh, splines and sweeteners. Kill, 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 Taurus, kill. So and what's left? It's again just the parabolic antenna. Oh, <laughs> you know. Um, okay, I can kill the whole light stuff here. Yeah, we don't need it anymore. So, and there is some kind. Oh, it's a cam. Cam, we kill them too. So, and this thing uh, is still uh, a few parts. Yeah, there is this middle part that rotates and, and uh, comes out on this way. Who is it? Yes, it's this. Um, this is not useful for ours. It's just, yeah, this is easy. It's just uh, a, a little object moment. I'll show you this and it's simple. Yeah. Again, it's just this object and this object just consists of um, a spline that makes the, the, the shape of the object and it's just an extrude nerve so it's a very simple object and it's again on a cloner and the cloner is uh, set to radial and so I can moment Oh, I have to switch it on. I just animate uh, the start angle. Oh, so sorry, I have to see what's happened. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry for sometimes uh, this is uh, this job is now uh, one and a half year old, and I I didn't remember anything uh, or not much. So uh, what I did is basically I, I scaled it. Okay, here. Oh yeah, I do a scaling of the object, and in the same time. I animate the, the end angle, so any object at the first, uh, when the animation starts, it's the same position and then every clone object becomes a different angle, yeah? So it looks like this. So at the, at the end, I animate uh, the rotation a bit, so Moment, I have to kill this uh, baked thing. You see, so after the rotating stuff, there's a slightly animation that makes this. Okay, it's very easy stuff to see. I switch this to hide, and now the rest is our power ball antenna. And you can see it's, uh, like I said, it's just two cloners. Yeah. The first one makes the rotation, I switch them off, and now what's left is our one panel of this whole thing. 
I switch here this uh, cache off too and switch the effectors off and you can see and switch the, finally the, the first cloner off and this is what I really animate yeah I take the zero object and put it in another scene so we have this uh, separated moment okay this is all I did um, via hand so it's the same thing I showed you uh, on the beginning with the cubes yeah what's happened here is just a bunch of um, visible text that makes parts of the thing visible over time like this and some grooving stuff so we can uh, separate uh, anything the first one that comes out is this sweetener sweetener sorry it's just uh, a spline and a shape and a sweetener and when you animate this over the time then it comes out yeah and why this comes out anything is very fast because I know I have just uh, two seconds or just one second to bring the whole uh, powerball thing uh, to life so any animation is just a few frames five or so frames so this thing comes out and while this still grooving here comes just again some uh, stupid uh, cylinder objects you know that uh, were set uh, invisible before and at this moment oh you can you don't can see what I show with my fingers it just comes out and stretches a bit and at the same time when the first sweep reached the end point here uh, some sphere thing uh, is animated from invisible to visible like this and the last thing is our panel and our panel is you can see it here it's just uh, a few PLA keyframes yeah this inflating thing is just PLA I showed you in, in different uh, tutorials uh, okay maybe I show you for the people there didn't see that some stuff before So, moment. Yeah, it's a bit much. It's a bit less. So, when when you uh, like to to make a basic animation with any object, you can uh, change this uh, parametric plane in polygon object. Go to vertex uh, manipulation, and one thing you need now is this. To do a PLA animation, yeah, it's very easy. I got, uh, I, I give them uh, a keyframe at 20, for example, and now uh, every vertex, it means every uh, point from this object has uh, a keyframe on this point. So, and now I give, for example, I go backwards in time and change this a bit like this and like this I showed the technique uh, in my uh, paper tutorial yeah maybe you can find this on YouTube too go back there zack and zack go again back in time and to this you see, I, I inflate this whole thing uh, just with this moment. You see, very easy. So, on uh, the last step, it's maybe some magical selection moment. Only select visible elements. Nope, now I like to select anything. So and crunch it a bit 
So, and this is basically what I did with the little antenna part. You see? Okay. So, and together. Any little animation together is now this. So, um, no magic, no, no big magic behind. Just a tiny animation done in uh, five minutes or ten or so. And, and this is a part. Moment. Oh no, wrong scene. There. So, and this is the part I put in the cloner. And now, see, it's a bit uh, curved. Of course, I set the cloner um, to, to following things. I, I say, okay, make five uh, clones out of this. Can do more, yeah. <laughs> and here is a, a little slightly rotation. You see this? So, and uh, this is uh, of course the, the curve I need for, for parabolic antenna. So, and when I now play the animation, it's a combination. You see, this little curve is uh, animated too, not this. Curve. This is a rotation, and uh, this um, give uh, any clone a bit more rotation. So when I uh, delete the animation and set it to zero, it looks like this, and the clone's just doing this. You know, it's my animation, and every clone doing the same thing at the same time. And when I did it in combination with uh, Like this, yeah. We have uh, animation like this. So, and in our case, it's uh, reversed. So, I did from here to this point. Oh, it's a bit much more like this. So, you see. Okay, and again, we need um, this. Oh, and while I do this, I can step. Uh, uh, I can uh, add more or less uh, clones. Yeah. At the end, we have now eight. I give them a keyframe, and at the beginning, I count it down to just one. And now, chum, chum, chum. <laughs> so, but um, I didn't need this because uh, I like to uh, animate it in time. Um, and you you know it's the same thing. Here's the cloner, and this is what's happened. And I give them again the same step effector with a time offset of eight in this case. Yeah. And now every part deflates after the next one. So I, I give them a few more keyframes so you can see it slow. Clack, 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 and it's all, yeah. And this is the the key part of the animation. And you see, what I basically did is a, a little animation uh, of little things uh, in, in in ten minutes, and then I just put cloner and uh, effectors uh, on it, and become a uh, uh, very uh, a much more complex animation. So, and now, when I have this, but what you can uh, remember is you have to bake this right now, yeah? Click this clone thing, go to MoGraph, MoGraph Cache, okay, not baking, caching it, and uh, baking, caching, it's the same, and hit bake. So, and now, this animation is uh, baked uh, in, in Cinema 40. And now, and this is interesting, uh, it's again uh, cinema see it uh, like one single animation, yeah? No idea what's what's inside the clone object because it's cached. And now I give this whole thing again in a cloner 
and this clone is set to radio and uh, count of 12 antenna so and this, it's very simple you see and of course um, for uh, to how our uh, cinema monster with power ball antennas you, you need more clean work but for, for my uh, two second thing it's 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 very okay what's done here so you see okay um, it's um, there are now more elements uh, at the original antenna has so and the last thing I added because um, this bug is, is some kind of bionic uh, existence, yeah. Uh, so I like that the antenna has still some movement at the end, yeah. And this is what I did. I give them a, a random effector, the first cloner. So when it comes out, the random effector and it's connected to this cloner, random, just uh, did some random rotation of every object, of every clone, and some random position change. So it comes to this moment, little uh, movement in, inside every uh, st string of the antenna. So I give them some less. Okay. You see, everything moves a bit after the deflating. So can I give them uh, more keyframes? Okay. So and that uh, means it's not so static at at the end, and and it's more interesting. And okay, again, oh, and, and uh, yeah, you can give them the whole animation again a delay, delay effector. Uh, it's the same thing I showed in, in the paper thing, and that means any keyframe animation uh, it's uh, becoming a bit uh, softer. Or in this case, the delay is uh, set to spring, and this means any keyframe animation. Uh, 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 reacts with a bit delay like like a spring yeah so and this is what we end up with yeah very smooth animation but again we have to cache them because uh, when you use the delay effector and you like to render us later in network something you always have to cache the mobile stuff like this okay now, dum -dum 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 -dum. animation, and now whole parabol animation. So, and uh, just to hide this ugly uh, part in the middle, <laughs> I set up the second animation with this object. So, you see, everything, it's, it's very easy, very, very lazy done. But the uh, the job uh, I need from him. So okay, it's not in the middle right now. So yeah, and, and this is uh, basically all I did with the antenna. It's not much stuff. Uh, a few keyframes and uh, uh, a few uh, cloner things, and at the end we get this nice little movement. So, and um, I hope this was not too fast this time, but um, yeah, when you like to... Moment. So here we can see it again in full effect. And as I said, uh, it's it's very fast. You So I, I uh, saved just time uh, and didn't make anything so precise. It's just a fast animation. Uh, there's the slight movement and so it, it feels more like a living object. So and that's all. Yeah, very cheap uh, tricks, very cheap animations.
uh, stuff with MoGraph and uh, yeah, it's, it's something I love uh, on, on MoGraph because you can do uh, some animations that uh, yeah, <laughs> looking very complex but it's, it's very easy to do. So, okay, I, I hope I, I didn't uh, forget anything for this. This is the antenna, yeah. Uh, maybe, yeah, there's not much left. Uh, maybe you're interested in, in uh, the compositing or something. Um, or um, the lightning stuff. It's very easy, it's just some light sources. <laughs> there's not much uh, left in, in the scene. So, uh, okay, maybe uh, you, you can ask me uh, questions. Uh, and uh, when, when you uh, miss something or when you like to uh, see another tutorial about this, um, uh, like I said, it's one and a half year old now and I did so much jobs uh, after this. Uh, so it's, it's maybe time to, to jump on another project and, and showing some interesting stuff uh, from this. So I hope you have fun with this little uh, bug tutorials series and uh, yeah what's left to say my name was uh, Mo Tensen for Mostai TV uh, again this whole show is uh, sponsored by Isa Isa yeah and and when you ask yourself oh what I wearing the the whole day this shirt is uh, from Isa Isa yeah latest one it's, it's very great I, I like the the print from from Isa Isa design and uh, the shirt is from uh, American Apparel. It feels good. And Isa Isa is my sponsor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Um, I hope uh, I can use this uh, <laughs> episode because it feels very confused after that. Okay. Anyway, this was Mote. Mo and uh, I hope you have fun and we see in the next interesting uh, episode of Mosai TV. Fasten seatbelts and have a nice summer. Bye bye. <laughs>